Hi everyone, welcome to day 23 of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving one of the SQL question asked in Spotify data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says identify trending songs. Spotify want to identify the song that have suddenly gained popularity within a week. So we need to write a SQL query to find the song ID and the week start date of all the songs that have a play count increase at least 300% compared to the last week. And we need to consider the starting day of the week as Monday. So we have the table here. You can see we have user ID, we have song ID and we have the play count. So let's go to the PG admin 4 and let's solve this question. Now here you can see I've already created the table and inserted this data. If in case you want to download the same data and solve this question, you can find the data set from the video descriptions. So let's see the question one more time. We need to find out the song ID and week start date of all the songs that have a play count, which is increased at least 300% compared to the previous week, which is one week to the next week. Now we need to consider the starting of the week as Monday. So these are the two requirements we have here. Now I'm going to use window functions leg and city to solve this question. Now, first we need to find out each song and their play count in each week where the starting day of the week is going to be Monday. And then we need to find out the previous week. Okay. So let's write down the approach that we can follow step by step to solve this question. So I'm going to write it here. Let's say I first need to find out this song ID and their play count okay, for each week where the starting day of the week is going to be Monday. Okay. Now that is one thing I need to find out. Second, I need to find out each song and their last week play count. Okay, this is what I need to find out. Now in both situations, the start day of the week is going to be Monday. Okay, So that is what I need to keep in mind. And once I have this two thing, I can compare song from the previous week and song from the current week and we will see if the play count has increased to 300%. We will select those song. Okay, so I need first of all the song ID song id what i need and i need the start day of the week so i'm going to use a date trunk functions here if in case you don't know how to use date trunk i'm going to show you what this date trunk is going to do okay and the syntax is you just need to say week and comma and you need to give this play count play date the date and i'm going to save it as a week start day okay so let me show you what this date trunk function does. So let's say if I just say select current date. So this is going to return the current date from the system, which you can see 13, 8, 2024. Now let's say from this today is the Tuesday. If you want to check, you can see today is the Tuesday. And let's say we want to find out the week start day, right? From this date, which is 13, we are 13. So we want to find out the week start day, which is going to be what? Which is going to be 12, right? Because Monday is the week start day. So you can simply use a date trunk T R U N C, and you just need to put this date column and uh, you just need to put week in quotes okay because we need to find out weeks from this current date and if I just run this query this is going to give me the week start date that's going to trunk the date to the week start date which is going to be Monday for this week so you can see it is showing as uh, this right. 12. Now, even if I change this date to any day of this week, let's say if I change it to 2024 and we're in 8 and today is 13. So let's say even if I change it to 15, okay, I'll just to convert it. Even if I change it to 15, still the week start day is going to be same, right? So till Sunday is going to be same, right? So now you can see still this date has trunk to the same week start day. So this is the functions we are using above, okay? Now I'm using song ID date trunk. So this is going to create the week start day column. And uh, next what I need is the play count, correct? So play count for each song and in each week, right? This is what we need to find out. So I would say here count of star and I can just name it call play count. Okay. So I just need to do a group by by the song ID and this week start so that I can get this play count. So I would say group by by one and two. So I can use this name as well, but uh, yeah, I can also use the alias if I'm using Postgres SQL. So let's see now. Now I can see for each song, we have the week start and their play count. Now maybe the data is not that much readable friendly. I can do a order by so that you can understand. So I'm going to say order by by one, which is by the song ID. Then I want to order by by that week, which is week start day. Now I can see for the song ID one, Okay, these are the data we have. So we have the earliest week, which is this week, which started 26 December 2022. So we got two play count in the next week, which is again 
for second of Jan 2023. So only one play count. So that means the play count has reduced, right? But if you see the third week, the play count has increased for the same song, which is 101. So here you can see the play count is seven. So this is the song what we are looking for because this has increased. If you compare this to this, it has increased more than 300%, right? So if you compare this to this, but here it has not increased, but this week it has increased. So we need this week and also this song ID. These are the two things we need. Now, if you want to check for this one, so here you see it had a play count one in this week, which is 26 December 2022. Next week, it again remains same. But if you see the next week, which is 9th of Jan, here it has increased to three, but still it has not crossed 300%, right? If you compare the percentage between these three. Okay, so this is what we need to find out. Now, what I can do is that I need to find out the previous week count, right? So based on this, I can say that here, if you want to find out the previous week count, so we don't have the data, right? So that's going to be null. But here, if you want to find out the previous week data, that's going to be what the previous week count was two. current week count is one. So that means I can make a comparison between this and this, right? So this is what I am actually doing here. So I'm going to force save this data in a CT call with weekly, with weekly place, something like this. Okay. And I can just name it call S as part of CT syntax. I just need to put this query inside the brackets. I don't need this group by here. So I'm just going to say this, right? So this is my first CT you can see. Okay. Now from this CT, I am going to get the previous week play count. Okay. So what I can do is that I can use a window functions called leg, which is going to give me the previous week play count based on each song ID. So I will say that I need select song id what i need and then what i need is that weekly start okay before then i need this play count for that week okay now next what i need is the previous week play count now if you want to find out the previous week play count for this as i said for this one we don't have the previous week play count but for this one the previous week play count would be what two right so we will use window functions like here so I'm going to say leg and inside this I would put play count and I would do over. Now I need to do a partitions by here by the song ID because for each song we want to find out the previous week play count, right? So if, it, if I don't do partitions for this song, which is kind of song ID 2, okay, for this week, the previous week play count is going to be this one, right? Because using leg you can get the earlier record, using lead you can get the next row or maybe next two row record, okay? So I would say here partition by this song ID. So I would say partition by song ID. And I would need to say order by this week start in ascending. And I'm just going to call it as prep week play. Okay, count. So previous week play count. This is what the name I have given. Now I would say from where I'm getting all this information. So I'm getting from the weekly play count, right? So in the weekly play count, we have created something which is called this one, right? Play count, correct? So here I can use some formatting, which is called numeric. So that's going to convert the number in numeric. So I will not get any error later on. Okay, so this is fine. Now let's quickly run it again and let's see the data. Okay, now if you want to see for this song, we have three records, right? So first week which is this one starting from 26 december 2022 so the play count was two only in that week that entire week and the second week which is kind of starting second jan 2023 so this week we only had one play count but if you see the here i'm getting previous week which is this one here and i'm naming it called previous week play count using the leg functions i am using leg and get me the previous one record so here this is going to be two so that means if i compare current week and the previous week so that's going to be kind of drop right so here you see one play count and here it was two earlier so that means 50 percent drop now if you see here okay so here the current week play is a seven but the previous week play which is kind of this week the first week of 2023 so play count was one so that means here it has increased right so we went to find out the percentage between this and this okay so now i can filter out these things like where this previous week count is null so i'm going to filter out this right so before that what i will need to do i'll need to use I need to use this column to filter out right previous week play count and this current week play count. So what I will do, I will simply go ahead and save this data in another CTE and I'm going to call it call previous place. Okay. Previous week place. 
now if you have uh, you know already created the city next time you don't have to use with okay something like this you simply have to use the name and s alias like this okay so i just need to put this query inside the s alias this is going to create the city e okay now this is my second city now this from this city i need this column this column this column and this column the reason is that i will make a comparison between these two column that's the reason i need this column now i cannot use this logic in the where conditions because this is a window functions you cannot use window functions in the where conditions so that is the reason i had to save this in a cte now from here i'm going to select all of this thing okay and i will also select this which is called previous week play count okay now whenever you create city one thing you need to ensure that you have given a comma after the first city okay here you see first city and i have given a comma now from here the second city is started in the second city i'm getting the data from the first cte okay so now we have song id week start day play count previous week play count all these things we need now this is i'm getting from which which is previous week play okay from this table now i can simply use a logic call i need only the song where current week play is at least uh, greater than previous week play okay because we don't want to see the data where the previous week play is uh, higher and current week play is lesser because our objective is to find out the song which gain popularity so if i just run this query we will almost filter the null okay so let's select everything and let's run it now i can see we only have a few records where the current week play is uh, higher than the last week play now we need to find out a percentage between this and this right so to find out the percentage which is which you call growth percentage i can use a logic here so i'm going i can go ahead and say here that uh, current week play which is this one play count minus previous week play divided by the previous week play into 100 okay so this is going to give me the count okay i will just need to round this in data because I'll get too many decimal number so round it to two decimal now this one I'm going to save it as growth ratio so growth ratio formula is very simple I have already explained in the earlier video so growth ratio if you want to find out you need to do this thing which is kind of current sale let's see if I talk about sale current sale minus previous sale divided by previous sale which is this and you need to multiply with the divided by previous sale and you need to multiply with 100 so if i give an example let's say the current sale is 200 dollars okay and let's say the previous sale was kind of 300 dollar okay so if you divide by 300 200 minus 300 so and if you multiply with 100 you will see the percentage now here you see the percentage will be dropped because earlier it was 300 current it is 200 right now if you just change it to 300 right so the growth ratio would be zero because the earlier it was 300 this week also you have done a sale of 300 so divided by 300 is going to be what you'll be getting zero okay there is no growth ratio here okay so this is the logic we have used here to find out the growth ratio of the play count now let me run it and we will have the result let's select everything and let's run it so now you can see this song has gained popularity so previous week count was one current week count is which is seven now if you just see the growth ratio which is a 600 percent increase compared to the previous week now if you want to see which week it is the week that is started on the 9th of jan 2023 now for this song it has gained popularity which is only 200 percent compared to the previous because previous it was one and then current week it is three so for this only 100 percent right so we will need this song and this week because in this week for this song it has gained popularity which is more than 300 percent now i can simply filter by this column which is this column and i can select this song id and the week day okay this is where i have used multiple calculations so so this may cause issues i'm not going to use this column here so what i will do i'll save this data in another cte which is going to be my third city then i will select this two column i'm going to filter using this growth ratio so this city i'm going to name it call growth ratio okay as i'll just need to put this in a new cte so which is going to continue right so i'm going to just add the things i need so from this table i need all this column okay i don't need the count so i'm just going to hide the count for now so from where i'm getting i'm getting from this table called growth ratio okay now i will simply use the where conditions on this growth ratio so i would say where growth ratio is greater than 300 okay greater than 
300 this is the logic i want to use so now let's run this query and we will have the song id in the week start day where the song has gained popularity which is more than 300 percent song id does not exist so let's quickly check song id you have selected from growth ratio okay i missed a from here so from growth ratio now let's quickly run it okay all right now you can see we have the result which is here we have the song id and the week start day where the song has gained popularity which is more than 300 percent now if we have even 100 songs which has gained popularity we will have all the songs and all the week start day where they have gained popularity it it is possible that we can have the same so, same song id and multiple weeks wherever they have gained popularity so the so the logic here is that the song id we want to compare with the previous week a play count that's the logic here all right this is how we have solved this question today thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you want to practice the same question download the data set from the video descriptions and if you really like my content and videos like this to subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye